In Monroe, Washington, one company is molding a new generation of manufacturers. There's a new way of thinking at Toolcraft, where young talent is thriving. From Google to SpaceX, from Microsoft to Boeing, these young adults are developing, creating, and manufacturing products for some of the most innovative companies in the world. However, one of manufacturing's biggest challenges is fostering talent into the workforce at a young age. With the nearly 3.5 million job openings in the next 10 years, manufacturing companies across America are eager to hire the next generation of workers for an industry that utilizes the most advanced technology, from mechatronics and robotics to computer-aided design and CNC machining. Jeb Stewart, a 17-year-old student at Snohomish High School, works part-time as a machinist at Toolcraft. Jeb's inspiration to work in manufacturing stemmed from classes he took in high school. I was inspired to work in machining because uh, you know, I was taking these CAD classes using Mastercam, SolidWorks, Rhino. We didn't do a whole lot of machining in those classes, we did more 3D printing. As a machinist, Jeb finds pride in the parts he is creating for the industries he serves. I like manufacturing because uh, it's a challenging field. I always like to think, you know, this machine, this part's going on an airplane or something, you know, it's got to be good, uh, precise. It's also a variety of parts. You know, you're not running the same parts every day. Toolcraft's first employee was a high school student, and since then, they have hired countless young adults, providing each of them with an opportunity to develop their natural skill set and interests in manufacturing. Dennis Nimala, Toolcraft's 23-year-old foreman, began his journey in manufacturing at 14 years old. Dennis learned at a young age the value of real-world experience. And I got hired on at 14 as a, uh, as a floor cleaner. So I started cleaning floors, cleaning benches, organizing areas for the machinists. And then I uh, carried on from there, started doing basic deeper, then started running machines. Then started setting them up. That's where I hit a lot of the difficulties was actually probably running them. Um, I was always uh, go 110%. Sometimes that uh, meant going backwards and rechecking my parts. And then going to school really helped me out as far as I learned some of the basics learned um, manual machining, learned how to help other people out. And then there I was actually really able to take my time and learn trade. After earning his associate's degree in machining from Lake Washington Technical College, Dennis applied his knowledge on the shop floor with the help of seasoned mentors. For students interested in a career in manufacturing, Dennis has a few words of advice. So I feel like now when manufacturing is getting so advanced with the computers and whatnot, a guy forgets or really wants to progress in that area. Well, if you're in school, you have an opportunity to focus on the manuals, manual lays, manual mills, all that manual machining. You gotta learn how metal is actually cut. You get a feel cutting it. So if you have an opportunity to learn those basics and those fundamentals, really take advantage of it. Steve Wittenberg, Toolcraft's operations manager, sees firsthand young talent rising to the occasion. As we kind of discussed earlier, it's become part of our culture. We've been around for 25 years and we've seen how it works and works very well. For ourselves, I mean, when I was coming up in the shop, it's pretty cool when you see uh, you're working with young kids and they're fired up to learn new things. I think when you give them the opportunity, kids will rise to the, rise to the challenge. I've yeah. seen that uh, time and time again. Progression within the company is dependent on each employee mastering their craft. Our culture here is you don't have to be in any certain area for any amount of time. It's okay, you show mastery of this position, you can move up. It's not like you're going to be, hey, you're going to be stuck in your burr for two years because that's what you do. It's not that. You show mastery, you move on. At Toolcraft, employees that show an aptitude to learn often fast track their careers in manufacturing. For us here, the biggest thing you need is you need good morals, you need, hard, you need to hard work hard, and you need to have an ability to learn, I guess. And I think school does, it teaches you how to learn. You can learn the way that you figured out or you can learn the way that's already here choose them together and get the best method. As far as individual skills, got when guys come in they know math already, that's, that helps a lot. When guys come in and they have an understanding of what manufacturing is about, that helps. It helps a lot. You know, these, they understand that, they kind of have a basic understanding of what can be done. You know, lathes, mills, manuals, CNC's, horizontals, verticals, all the different types of manufacturing. Toolcraft is one of 1,300 aerospace companies in Washington, solidifying our state as the largest cluster of aerospace and advanced manufacturers in the world. The opportunities for these high-growth, high-demand industries are endless. Launching your career as a young adult has never been more important to compete in a global economy. Today's manufacturers, whether they are making cars, airplanes, or iPhone parts, 
are looking for engineers, designers, machinists, and computer programmers. To launch your career in aerospace manufacturing, visit ajactraining.org. AJAC, leading the way in aerospace and advanced manufacturing training.